Hey church family, I wanted to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement as we prayerfully prepare for the new year. Uh, now, as we continue to watch the convergence of events, which will culminate in the rapture of the church, followed by the rise of the Antichrist, uh, we must not fail to remember the warning that Paul presented to the Christians in Thessalonica after he heard about the, their, their confusion regarding the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's actually in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, where Paul declares, Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed the son of perdition in other words the you know before the day of Christ's second coming the antichrist will, will first be revealed we understand that that's going to happen you know 7 years before uh, the second coming of Jesus but you know before the antichrist can be revealed to the world well there must be a what paul calls a falling away now uh, regarding this falling away it should be noted that paul used the greek word apostasia uh, which is actually the, the basis for our english word apostasy and just to be clear uh, the original greek word was used in reference to a defection from the truth now in this context paul was using the word to describe the day when uh, many would forsake uh, the way of truth and and it seems to me that this falling away it corresponds with a warning that jesus actually presented in matthew chapter 24. it's actually matthew chapter 24 where we find the lord jesus describing the state of the world just prior to his second coming and it's here in this chapter where jesus informs us that there's coming this day when believers will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death and you'll be hated by all nations because of me at that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. Now, it should be noted that there are many areas of the world where Christians have been persecuted. They've been put to death for many, many uh, years. And so Jesus uh, you know, seems to be talking about uh, a different area where, where the church uh, was initially free to worship, at least for a season. And then during the last days, they would begin to experience uh, the pain of persecution like, uh, unlike ever before. And as a result, uh, you know, many believers, uh, because of that persecution, will begin to turn away from the faith. And not only that, uh, but they will begin to betray those that they once worshipped alongside of. Uh, and it's, is it possible then? Uh, is it possible that we're beginning to see the fulfillment of this pro uh, prophecy uh, right here in America? Is it possible that the global pandemic, which was used to shutter the doors of churches from California to New York, uh, is it possible uh, that, that this whole thing is simultaneously setting the stage for the great apostasy that Jesus spoke of there in Matthew 24? Uh, you know, is it, is it possible uh, that this is the, the, the beginnings of the great apostasy, apostasy which is going to take place uh, just before the rapture of the church. Well, over the past year, you know, we've certainly, we've certainly seen how quickly many leaders will create and enforce unconstitutional executive orders which have forced the closures of most American churches. And it's sad to say that many churches here in America are still closed. They're still unable to meet without facing fines and possible jail time. And in light of these things, it's easy for us to see how quickly the government can criminalize the Christian church. And not only that, but we can also see how quickly uh, many in the church will comply with these sort of draconian orders, uh, you know, uh, that, that are you know, instituted by overreaching rulers. Uh, you know, we can see how, how quickly Christians will just, you know, okay, uh, you don't want us to go to church. Okay, we won't go to church. Wow. Uh, you know, is this the beginnings of that great apostasy? I can't help but to wonder, are we rapidly approaching this time when many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other? We can't say for certain, but it certainly does look like the great apostasy has already begun. And in one sense, this is good news. It's great news, actually, because what this means is that it won't be long until the rapture of the church happens and true believers are caught up and taken up into the clouds where we will meet the Lord there in the air. Therefore, rather than taking part in the great apostasy by falling away from the faith, I encourage you to remember that the true followers of Christ have been called to fight the good fight of faith and all for the glory of God.